I'm quite simply going to blow your mind right now with this code. Insane Ronaldo and Pope connections. Cristiano Ronaldo first did his iconic C celebration versus Chelsea back in 2013. The year Pope Francis became the Pope. And I've been saying all these goats are connected to Pope Francis, who is the false prophet. I've shown you Ronaldo's connected to the Pope, Messi, LeBron, Kobe was, Serena Williams. I've shown it in numerous codes. Tom Brady, this Ronaldo one is insane with his iconic celebration, C. So I came across this information, guys, here. What is Cristiano Ronaldo's Sue celebration about? Okay? You might have heard people shout C at some point over the last few years and wondered just what on earth was wrong with them. Or maybe you know that it stems from Cristiano Ronaldo's famous celebration and still wondered what the hell was going on. Interesting choice of words there. The Manchester United star, aka the Red Devils, is one of the most recognizable faces on the planet and his celebration where he jumps in the air, spins around and lands with his arms outstretched by his side, mocking Jesus Christ, has become an iconic football image. All right, now check this out. What does Cristiano Ronaldo's C celebration really mean? This is nonsense. It's going to be way deeper than this. But where does the noise come from and what does it mean? The Portuguese forward explains that it derives from C, the Spanish for yes. That's nonsense. That is not what his celebration's about, just for him saying yes. It's something deeper. I started saying C, it's like yes. When I was in Real Madrid, he once explained in an interview. I was in the USA. Yeah, where Los Angeles is, the Angels. And we played against Chelsea. And I don't know where this is coming from, the celebration. I just scored the goal and it just came out. It was just natural, to be honest. Since that, I started to do it more often. And I feel like the supporters and the fans see it. And they're like, Cristiano so I'm like, wow, people are reminded of me because of it, so it's good, and I'll continue doing it like that. So the first time he ever did this C celebration was in 2013 against Chelsea in the United States of America. All right, I'm going to show you why he really came up with this celebration back in 2013 when Francis became the Pope, because the connections between this guy and Pope Francis, the false prophet, are off the charts. And people like Ronaldo is just a false idol and you need to stop worshipping him or her. So I found the actual celebration online. It's on my website, the video. And right after he scored this goal and did the celebration, the C celebration for the first time, the commentator said that the goal was majestic. That the goal was majestic. All right, guys, I keep talking about magic. I keep talking about magic. Ronaldo did this celebration on 8-7-2013. All right, the Hard Rock Stadium. 8-7-2013 at 7 p.m. Where CR7 dominated. All right? And check this out. Number of the beast equals 87. Ronaldo's career... Is full of satanic numbers. I will do a whole book about Ronaldo like I did about Kobe. Now check this next bit out for Freaky. I always talk about 211 and how big that number is in connection with the Basilica being struck twice by lightning right before Pope Francis became the Pope in 2013. All right? This happened, guys, when Pope Benedict resigned. Francis, shortly after, replaced him. Okay? Lightning is connected to Satan. Luke 10, 18 talks about how Satan was cast out of heaven like a lightning bolt. And then lightning strikes St. Peter's Basilica right before Francis becomes the Pope and it happens on 2.11. 2.11. And if we go here, Ronaldo did that iconic sea celebration for the first time a span of 21 weeks and one day after Pope Francis became the Pope. 
Francis became the Pope, March the 13th, 2013. Ronaldo did the C celebration for the first time on 8 7 2013, a span of 21 weeks and one day after Francis became the Pope. 2 1 1. Like the day the Basilica was struck twice by lightning. And as I said, lightning is connected to Satan. These next finds are simply incredible. So, Pope Francis was born in 36. And he became the Pope one month and eight days after Ronaldo's birthday. Ronaldo's birthday in 2013, February the 5th, 2013. Francis became the Pope 313, 2013. One month and eight days after Ronaldo's birthday. One month and eight days is 36 days. 18 and 36 are huge numbers with Ronaldo and with the Society of Jesus. So first of all, guys, 666 is the 36 triangular number. 3 plus 6 is 9. 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. Francis became the Pope nine years ago. IHS, this is the Society of Jesus. This is staggering. IHS is the Society of Jesus. 36, 18, 45 and 18. Pope Francis born in 36. Ronaldo born on the 36th day of the year. Ronaldo signed for the Red Devils, Manchester United, at age 18. And 18 years later, re-signed with them at age 36. 3 plus 6 is 9. 1 plus 8 is 9. 4 plus 5 is 9. Now look at this 45. Ronaldo's 2013 birthday was exactly 45 weeks before the Pope's. Exactly 45 weeks. Confirmation here, Ronaldo was born on the 36th day of the year. He re-signed with Man United at age 36. It's absolutely insane. It's insane. IHS 36, 18, 45, 18. And all those nines, guys. When Ronaldo signed for Real Madrid, he was given the number nine jersey because Raul was wearing number seven. Wow. Simply, wow. So like I said, Ronaldo signed for the Red Devils at age 18 and 18 years later, he signed for them at age 36, like I said he would. And Ronaldo was born on the 36th day of the year and the Pope's birthday is exactly 45 weeks after Ronaldo's. 36 plus 36 equals 72. 3 plus 6 is 9. 7 plus 2 is 9. Ronaldo's birthday, guys. Ronaldo's birthday is a span of 7 weeks and 2 days after the Pope's. 7 weeks and 2 days. Pope Francis became the Pope on the 72nd day of 2013. The 72nd day. Jesuit order equals 72. And I'm telling you, I think the likes of Ronaldo and Pope Francis are demons. Now check this out. The Art Goetia, also known as the 72 Pillars, or the Lemigaton, is a group comprised of 72 demons with exemplary strength and their own legions. How often do they talk about Ronaldo being so strong and doing acts out of this world? and being supernatural, and being almost godlike. How often do they say that Ronaldo is out of this world? He could well be a demon. All these 72s, all these 72s, okay? Look how seven weeks and two days is 51 days. And look how... 36 days is five weeks and one day. The Illuminati were founded on May the 1st, 5-1. 5-1. 5-1. Kobe Bryant's daughter was born May the 1st, 5-1. How many people died in that helicopter crash? Nine. Nine. Ronaldo was born on a day that can be written 2-5 or 5-2. February the 5th or the 5th of February. Pope, 5-2-25. Ronaldo born the 5th of February or February the 5th? Obviously, 5 plus 2 or 2 plus 5 is 7 for your CR7. So Real Madrid beat Chelsea 3-1 in the game where Ronaldo first did the C celebration. And he scored his first goal in this game after 31 minutes. 31 minutes in a 3-1 win. So often, guys... 
when a team wins 3-1, so often the score is 1-1. Like here, Marcelo up in the score and then Ramirez equalise 1-1. Because 31 is the 11th prime. 31 is the 11th prime. And in Gematria, Pope gets you 11. Pope gets you 11. You'll start noticing the guys, all the 3-1 games, they're often 1-1. One, one before it becomes 3-1, because 31's the 11th prime. You'll start noticing it. You'll start noticing it. And C, this is how you supposedly spell it. C here gets you 22 and 50. Satanic gets you 22 and 50. Stop worshipping demons, okay? Your kids are worshipping demons like Ronaldo. And Messi the Messiah. And Gabriel Jesus. Mocking Jesus. Gabriel Jesus who was born on April the 3rd, the date Jesus died. They're mocking Jesus and God. They do with the celebrations. Jesus on a cross all the time. They worship Lucifer. Simple as that. And the more you worship these people, the more Lucifer's being worshipped. So let's see what happens to me after this video because I'm calling out all of these rituals at such a high level. See how they're going to attack me next, eh? Well, I'll keep doing it. All right, did you like this video? I hope your response is soon, baby. Woo! Take care, much love, and please share this video. It's absolutely unbelievable.